All right, all right, YouTube world. As I enjoy this stick from Pennsylvania, thank you once again to that uh, beautiful person that sent me this stick. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos, and thank you for supporting me in every which way. And uh, let me just show you a little bit here what's going on at the room. While I was burning this stick, I ended up uh, enjoying the cleaning of this breeding cage. As you can see, I cleaned up, cleaned up, pretty nice. I'm about to feed these guys, put some special, special mix in the water for these breeders and the babies, keep them healthy and strong. And uh, just to give you a peek of what's going on here in the red eye loft, the two blacks come from this beautiful, beautiful pair of blacks right here. These are done on eggs. Look at this grizzle. This is the pair, and this is the baby. Unfortunately, the other one did not make it. It was sad for me to lose that one, but it's beautiful. And then you can see it's got some sunlight in here. Gives a little sunlight, they like that too. I use natural lighting over here on my breeder loft. On the other side, I use the method of the light system. Now, if you don't know how to use the light system, I'm gonna help you with that. It's simple. When you use the light, just make sure that you don't leave it on all night because of course we don't want the pigeons going through a double molt. You don't want to mess with the natural lighting of a bird as far as when the bird is breeding, feeding and so on and molting. Now, I'll probably leave that lighting, uh, the lighting system for another video for another time. The key thing is not to leave it on all night, okay? A few hours longer than darkness at the sunset <clears throat> mark. And uh, you can breed some beautiful babies. They'll grow for you very quickly. Here's the reds, the pair of reds from a yellow and a red. Beautiful pair. The cock, the hen, and the two babies. And for those that don't know, let me, let me pull one of these babies out. Let me show you. What I talk about when I talk about the identity of a bird. So here's the red. Okay. And you can see the bird has a band on it. That van is a 2020 van. Let me clean up the droppings here a little bit. Let me see if you can see the 2020 red eye loft. Let me see if I could get this done here. Huh. All right. Let's see. Red Eye Loft. 2020. You see it? Does that say 2020? Let's see. Red Eye Loft 2020. Now, that's the way you keep the identity of the bird alive and well. This lovely red is a 2020 tippler. Put them back in the in the nest. And there you have it, folks. 2020, alive and strong here at the Red Eye Loft. I'm cleaning the rest of my loft up. I'm going to feed them, put fresh water with the mix. And that's what we're talking about here at the Red Eye Loft. Health, clean health conditions, vitamins in the water, extra feed extra uh grit and so on all right folks until next time i got a call coming in thank you very much for watching peace